Hello students, in continuation with my lecture series for quantum statistics under the topic Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution function, in today's lecture we will be discussing the important numericals related to this topic which have been asked off and on in all major undergraduate competitive exams. Please subscribe to the channel before continuing with the lecture series. Let us quickly start revising the formulas that we'll be needing to solve these numericals. First, the most probable velocity is equal to under root 2 kt upon m. Average velocity is equal to under root 8 kt upon pi m. The root mean square speed is equal to under root 3 kt upon m. Here, k is Boltzmann constant, t is temperature and m is mass. This Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution of speeds is given by NVDV is equal to 4 pi N into M upon 2 pi KT whole to the power of 3 by 2 into into e to the power of minus mv square upon 2 kt v square dv. Also, for number of atoms as per the Boltzmann energy distribution function, n2 upon n1 is equal to e to the power of minus e2 minus e1 divided by kbt. Usually, the constants are given in the question paper, but at times it happens that the constants are not there. So you should be remembering these constants before going for the exam. K, Boltzmann constant is equal to 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 16 ergs per Kelvin or 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23 joule per Kelvin. Avogadro's number n is equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power of 23 per mole. One erg is equal to 10 to the power of minus 7 joules. Then one more thing, you learn the value of under root kt upon m equal to 2.66 into 10 to the power of 2 meter per second. This will help you in solving the numericals fast. Let us begin. Let us have a look at one of the simple numericals. For oxygen gas at NTP, that means the standard temperature and pressure, we have to calculate the most probable velocity, the average velocity and the root mean square velocity. Now we know the formula, we know the standard value of kT upon m, but let us see, first we will have to find m for oxygen. One mole of atom of oxygen has a mass of 16 gram because 16 is the atomic weight of oxygen and it is containing Avogadro's number of atoms. Therefore, two atoms of oxygen will have 32 gram weight. So, mass of oxygen molecule is 32 upon N, the Avogadro's number, which is equal to 5.31 into 10 to the power of minus 23 gram. We know that 1 gram is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 kg. Hence, weight in kg is 5.31 into 10 to the power of minus 23 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kg. First, when we approach a numerical, the very first step is to remember which formula we are going to use. Secondly, we should see that the units have been uniformly changed either from CGS to MKS or MKS to CGS, vice versa. Secondly, all the uh, quantities given in the numerical are following a uniform pattern or not. Now, quickly, under root kT upon m is 2.66 into 10 to the power of 2 meter per second. Now, quickly, we can find out the value. Average speed will be 1.59 into this quantity. Root mean square speed will be 1.73 into under root kT by m. And most probable velocity will be 1.41 into under root kT upon m.
Next, at what temperature will the average speed of molecules of hydrogen gas be double the average speed of oxygen at 300 Kelvin? Once again, average speed is given by 1.59 into under root kt upon m. Now, the question is saying that at what temperature the average speed of hydrogen is going to be twice that of oxygen. So, we have written Vh for hydrogen and Vo for oxygen. So, mass of hydrogen is 4 gram, mass of oxygen is 16 gram. We put these values here in this equation and we have been given Vh is equal to 2 times of Vo. Here we put the values, simplify the expression and we get the answer as 75 Kelvin. Calculate the probability that the speed of oxygen molecule lies between 100 and 101 meter per second at 200 Kelvin. The Maxwell-Boltzmann law of distribution of speed or velocities among the molecules of an ideal gas is given by NVdV is equal to 4 pi N into m upon 2 pi kt whole to the power of 3 by 2 into e to the power of minus mv square upon 2 kt v square into dv. Now the probability pv of the molecules having speed or velocity between v and v plus dv is given by pv is equal to total number divide n v d v that is those lying between v and d v divided by n and mass of oxygen is 32 upon our Gadros number 1000 gram is equal to 1 kg now putting the value of Boltzmann constant as 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23 T as 300 Kelvin, V as 100 meter per second and dV that is the variation of velocity equal to 101 minus 100 equal to 1 meter per second. We put these values in the equation above. Simplify the expression. We can simplify by using a simple trick that first we simplify these 10 to the powers minus will come up and become plus then we put the value of pi as 3.14 and these tens we arrange and we get the values putting all these values we get the answer for probability calculate the fraction of molecules of a gas possessing speed within one percent of the most probable speed this question is very important it was asked in almost all the previous year question papers we came across. Most probable speed is equal to under root 2 kt upon m. Fraction of molecules having speed or velocity lying between v and v plus dv is given by this formula which we did in the above equation also. So the most probable velocity we put the value. Now since v varies within 1% of the most probable velocity it lies between 0.99v and 1.01v. So dv is equal to this much. We put this value here in this expression and we get the answer. A gas molecule of mass 3 into 10 to the power of 24 gram escapes from a furnace having temperature 4000 Kelvin with root mean square speed. Find the speed of escaping molecule. If the most probable speed of molecule of hydrogen is 100 meter per second at temperature T Kelvin, then find the most probable speed of an oxygen molecule at temperature 2 uh, T Kelvin. Let us begin. Root mean square, once again, we use our own tricks. That is root mean square under root 3 kT upon m. This is the speed of escaping molecule. Most probable speed under root 2 kT upon m. We put the values here and we get the most probable speed. It is a very simple simplification now. 
10 particles, their speeds have been given. We have to find the root mean square speed, average speed, and the most probable speed. From definition, we know that average speed is equal to V1 plus V2 till whatever number we have been given divided by that total number. So here we have been given 10 velocities. We will add them and divide it by 10 root mean square speed v square is equal to v1 under v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square divided by that number and square root of that most probable velocity is by definition the speed possessed by the maximum number of molecules in this case we can see that three molecules are having a speed of five meter per second hence the answer is five meter per second. Next question, a speed, a system of particles are occupying single particle state and obeying MB statistics. The population of energy is 2.3 million electron volt is 63% and for 11.5 it is 21%. What is the value of T? We know from the formula that N2 upon N1 is equal to E to the power of minus E2 minus E1 divided by KBT. We simplify this expression further. We take log on both the sides. And then we put the value which has been given in the numerical and change this milli-electron volt into proper joules. So one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules and Boltzmann constant value 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23 joule per Kelvin. We put these values here in this expression and we get the answer. This question, next one, is a bit tricky because it is involving the definition of flux, but we will have simplified it for you for the first time. A flux of 10 to the power of 12 neutrons per meter square. Flux means how many magnetic or electric lines of force or the number of neutrons that are passing through a specific area emerges each second from a port in a nuclear reactor. If these neutrons are having a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution curve corresponding to 300 Kelvin, then you have to find the density of neutrons in the beam. You have been given the mass of the neutron. So number of neutrons per meter cube with velocities between Vx and Vx plus dVx and Yz, etc. is given by this formula. N is equal to A, three integrals, E to the power of minus E upon kBT into dVx, dVy and dVz. Then a is equal to this much. Now, energy here is given by half mv square. Now, the number of neutrons emerging each second through a port with velocities in the three dimensions are given by A in the three, x, y, z is e to the power of minus e upon kbt vx dvx dvy dvz. Now in this expression, we put the value of a here and we get the number of electrons. Now, uh, sorry, neutrons. Assume simplifying this expression as we did in all the derivations in Maxwell-Boltzmann statistics, we will assume x equal to mvx square upon 2kbt and then dx is equal to mvx upon 2kbt into dvx. Putting this value here in the expression, we get n is equal to ns into 2 pi m upon kbt to the power of half. Now, we have been given the flux value as 10 to the power of 12. Mass of neutron is 1.67 into 10 to the power of 
minus 27 kg. Boltzmann constant is uh, Kb and T is 300 Kelvin. We put these values here in this expression. Density is equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 into this N value. Uh, that gives us 2.66 into 10 to the power of minus 18 kg per meter cube. Thank you.